they have lost their protector. Hello there, my name is Claire Lim, this is Enemy, and I'm here with Florence Kazumba, who's back as Io in Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Congratulations on the movie, it is wonderful. I, um, I'm i a robot and I don't have any emotions, and mm -hmm. I shed a, a tear twice <laughs> during this. It was beautiful, Thank a great you. movie, I thought you were great. Um, I wanted to start um, by asking about those first few days on set, obviously uh, the hole that's left with, you know, Chadwick Boseman not being there. How mm -hmm. did you guys all feel? Did you talk about it or did you just go straight in? We had to go straight in, but when we are working in Wakanda, it's like working with a family because it was not the first time that we got together. Very different circumstances, but at the end of the day, you know, it was a safe bubble because um, we felt the same and we there was a lot of pain we had to deal with, but there was also a lot of support from production and from the fellow actors. In terms of um, Chadwick as an actor, how did he inspire you personally to push on and do the job you're doing? You know, when we filmed the first movie, we prepped in 2016, 17, and it was such a long process because we trained together. And when you train together, it's a completely different way than just showing up for work and then you hear action and you act. So you get to know your colleagues on a completely different basis. And um, he, was just so strong and so technical. And like, I also do Tai Chi and a lot of the stuff that he does, I or did, I understood. And having someone working so hard and being such a great role model set the tone back then already in 2016, 17. So by the time I came up or in 2021, when we started working on this production, Panther 2, I was just ready. I was just ready to just continue being excellent, going for the best, you know, going, having no limit, just getting the best out of me. This film, it really strikes me as a film about hope and optimism. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of sort of sad moments, but there's a lot of happiness and joy there as well. And I wanted to ask, in terms of your character, I like when fans speak to you, what, what are they getting from you and your role? What kind of things do they say to you? Well, a lot of them say like, wow, I never would like to fight with you ladies. And playing a Dora Milaje is not all about strength and being out there and beating up people. It takes a lot of discipline to become a warrior. And I put a lot of like work, like physical work mm -hmm. into my career anyway. So by the time I got the phone call, I knew what this was about. And when people are interested in how do you become a warrior? I can tell them exactly what you have to do. And it's very unglamorous. You have to put in the work. You cannot just take a pill and function. You have to take a work and you have to have a lot of patience. And if I think about training for so many years, there's still so much I have to learn. So I think it's like the movie. It's about being optimistic, using what you have already, and just going for more. A, a lot of mental preparedness as well, because it's not... I, I box and I, I train as well, and it's all about up here. Half mm -hmm. of it's up here. Would you say, though, there were some days when you're training that you just thought, I really just want a giant, like, slice of pizza? <laughs> like, no, do you I ever get that. these? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Not really. No, what I have is... When you get to work with the people, with the team, mm. the stunt team, the coordinators, there's a lot of trust, and that trust has been built over years. And... I don't have these moments just because I know how long I have to function. If you don't know that this is the day where you will be done working, you just continue working. And I I don't have these moments where I, I mean, I don't say craving pizza is bad, yeah. but at this point I need to put stuff into my system that makes me function. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Wish I had your willpower. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I had your willpower. I'm doing okay, but I could be doing better. Um, in terms of the future of the franchise and your character within it, because we've seen you dotted around here and there, like where do you see Ayo going or where do you want her to go? You know, we all move forward. Where she's exactly going to go, I can't tell you. Mm -hmm. We have to find out. But at the end of the day, but that's how life is. Yeah. We don't know what's happening tomorrow, you know? Like sometimes things happen that haven't been planned and you have to deal with them. Mm -hmm. So whatever will happen in her future, she will deal with it. 
And in terms of like what you brought to the role and what the character has given you, mm -hmm. I'm kind of interested in that, that reflection back. Has it changed you at all as a person? It hasn't changed me. It's more like coming home because um, this is one of the few places when I work in Wakanda or when we work on these projects where I can just be myself without having to make myself small. You know, like imagine you've seen the daughter Milaje together. Yeah. In that setting, it's all fine. In a normal setting, people a lot of the time are intimidated if a woman is confident. I don't think it's a negative thing. I think when you learn certain things and you go through life with confidence, it's a nice feeling. Mm. There are also a lot of insecurities. I'm a human being, yeah. but what it helped me was like accepting the fact that, hey, there are places where I can just be myself and that's nice. Did you always feel like that or do you think it was an age and a work thing? Because I feel growing up uh, being mixed and, and slightly overweight when I was younger and all of these things I felt so insecure, you know, and it's only through being older and the, those experiences that have helped me kind of come into myself. Do you feel that as well? I think I chose a path becoming a performer, I found the place where I am home. Yeah. So I like theater. I come from musical theater where I had no limits because I got to play all these different characters without anybody telling me you cannot do this because of maybe the way how you look or where you come from or the way how you speak. So growing up in a theater environment, I think was the base of becoming who I am now. Of course there are places where I might not be welcome or where people have a problem with me, that's okay because we all have that. In terms of theatre, do you miss it at all when you're doing sort of film bits and pieces? Do you think about the stage? When we work on a project like this, it feels like being on stage because everything is big and they build the setting so that we feel like, okay, we are in Wakanda right now or on a mission. So I never lost that feeling when I go into fantasy or when I go into like a strong African country because... I don't know the way how they make us feel and what they built for us in order to play these characters truthfully. That really helps. It must be incredible as a creative person as well though, to step on set. It must be like playing in a big sandbox and going, oh my God, <laughs> this is my job. <laughs> Do you ever get like that? Well, I think back then when I made the decision I want to become an actress or I want to become a musical performer, um, I was surrounded by like-minded people, yeah. so it was not a big deal. I found the people that I needed to be around to function in this in this business. But this is like a dream come true, you know, because where do I ever get to play an African, being an African, and being a functioning person, you know, like finding or the way how they portrayed a positive Africa, the authors, and with the help of the whole creative team, um, that is something special and that doesn't happen a lot. Absolutely. I think mm -hmm. it's made a big difference yes. for sure. And still, we've got a long way to go. Absolutely. 100%. Still work to do. Um, I wanted to ask a fun question before I leave you. <laughs> um, if you, Florence, yes. not your character, yeah. were the ruler of Wakanda for a day, uh-oh, <laughs> what would you do or where would you go? Like, What kind of things would you get up to? I would go into the council room oh. and I would get myself together with all these people and brainstorm because I don't have to make any decisions by myself in Wakanda. Oh. So as Florence, I like to get support and advice from people so that I can move on. That's what makes the best leader. Yeah. Absolutely. It's not about being a dictator. It's about being a good listener. Yes. 100%. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm a Libra and I'm very indecisive. <laughs> so I'm a Scorpio. Hello. But still... Happy birthday coming up then. Or Already soon. happened last week. Oh, I mean, it was 26. Oh, well, happy birthday. Yeah. October, October babies. Yes. yes, happy birthday. Um, I think you were absolutely fantastic. And I really do want to see more of you um, going forward. You've done a great job. Thank you. And thank you very much for your time. Oh.